Tabletop CP. Today we're heading back to the magical lands of Erewhon for another game of Warlords of Erewhon. Alright, so it's been a long time since we played Warlords of Erewhon. I think about three months, but I uh, figured it's time to play again. It's not our most popular game, but it's a game that uh, Andre and I both enjoy playing. So we like to play it from time to time to keep ourselves fresh on the rules. Plus it's just a lot of fun, so that's what we've decided to play tonight. The mission we are going to play tonight is called The Sacred Relic. This is Scenario 6 from the rulebook. And the objective here is to capture the Sacred Relic, which will be in this ruin here. And we will be guarded by a giant scorpion, which we'll talk about in a second, his stats. But to, to capture the relic, you have to get to it and carry it off the board. You cannot sprint with the relic. If you do, you drop it. And if an enemy attacks you and destroys you, they capture the relic. And the objective is to carry the relic back off of your own board edge. So one, one team will be starting here. The other team will be starting over on that edge, about halfway up. And neither side is going to deploy anything. Half their army will come in as a first wave, and the remainder will come in on a reserve or on an order test, I should say, starting in the next turn. So everyone has to rush the rush the uh, ruin, kill the scorpion, and get the relic off the board. We'll talk about the terrain real quick. So first of all, the map we're using tonight is the Town of Liberty map by Cigar Box Battle. We've used this one quite a bit. And again, it's a very versatile mat that you can use in any time period, in any dimension, in any universe that you can think of. So if you want to pick one up, uh, check the description of this video. Other than that, we have a lot of walls. These are going to be slow. They're going to slow your uh, movement and they're going to be a plus two to your resistance. The woods are going to be dense woods. They're also going to be rough ground and they're also going to be plus two to your resistance. The building is going to be just wood, uh, light wood and it's going to be minus or plus one to your resistance. And if somehow you wind up in here, you're going to get plus two to your resistance as well. And that does it for the terrain and the mission. Let's talk about the forces. All right, so we'll begin with the Roman force. So this is going to be 904 points, I believe, with nine order dice. And in command, we have a mounted centurion with two bodyguards or a medium armor and swords. And they have the discipline rule. Discipline means that if they pass a rally order, they automatically remove all of their pins. So a very good rule. And then behind him we have a level 1 Haru Specs with two Acolytes and light armor. They have Divine Intervention and he's carrying the uh, big axe. So that's the uh, Roman wizard essentially. So he'll be a level 1. And we have three groups of eight Legionnaires, all wearing medium armor and they're disciplined as well. And then let's see what else do we have. We have two groups of Slingers in light armor with swords. And then we have two groups of cavalry. One is going to be a light cow with no armor, and they have swords and javelins. And then we have five equites who are going to be in light armor with spears. And that is the Roman force. And over here we have the undead army. So this is going to be 907 points with nine order dice. And in command we have a wraith, and he is going to be a level two uh, a wizard. He also has with him two cursed spirits. So that is the HQ, which is the most important unit for the uh, undead army. And then we have a small skeleton bolt, bolt thrower. And they're going to be just three skeletons in light armor. We have two groups of six skeleton archers in light armor. We have two groups of eight skeleton spearmen in light armor. Another group of eight skeleton warriors with swords in light armor. And then a group of eight skeleton guard. These guys are going to be in medium armor and armed with halberds. And then finally we have a group of three skeleton cavalry on war horses and heavy armor. And they're going to be spectral undead. And that is the undead army. And lastly we have the tomb guard who's guarding the relic in the ruins. It's going to be a giant scorpion. And he's going to be tough. And he's going to have uh, agility five. Strength 5, Resist 5, Initiative 9, Command 9. He's going to have uh, 3 attacks with Deadly Chill, and he's going to be Spectral Undead as well. So it's a Spectral Scorpion with Deathly Chill attacks, which uh, ignore armor. So uh, he's going to have to be taken down before you can get the Relic. So whoever gets there first is going to have to fight him and the other guys at the same time, I'm assuming. So that should be interesting. So we'll go ahead and uh, get started. All right, so Andre's arrived. He's uh, chosen to be the Romans, and I'm going to be the undead. So I'll be starting over here. Andre will be starting over there. And we're going to bring in half of our force in the first wave. So Andre's going to bring all of his legionnaires, his wizard, his warlord, and his two groups of slingers. He's leaving his two groups of cavalry in reserve. 
And I'm going to be bringing in all this stuff, my guard, my wraith, one, one archer unit, my uh, bolt thrower, and then the three knights, and then everything else is going to be coming in first wave. So I guess we're ready to start, Andre. So uh, oh, Andre, I'm be bag grab man. the bag. Bag man tonight. Okay. And I'll tell you what, I'll even pull you the first die for you. Yep. Uh, so red, that's the uh, Romans. Oh man, I tried. I guess you could put guys down <laughs> if you want, but or you can bring something in. Andre sprinting on one group of legionnaires there. Failed his agility test. Hey, look, I'm sprinting on another set of legionnaires right here. Okay. And I'm doing my agility test. And they, Ooh, they I pass. Passed. They pass. Okay. Yay. Okay, next die. Oh. Hey, look at us go. All right, undead. So my first unit I brought in was my, I ran these guys just normally. Uh, another Roman die. The last group of legionnaires come in there and they pass hey. their agility test. All right. So only one of them took a pin on the way in, but they're rushing towards the ruin. Another red dice. Andre brought in uh, Farquadius as warlord here. They're fast eight, so he sprinted up and he's getting up here pretty fast. Another Roman dice. All right, so uh, Andre brought in his uh, wizard here, and I forgot to go over the spells. He did bring uh, Aura of Courage, so he can try to remove some pins. I don't know what the casting value is on I'm that. I'm sure that'll do it, though. Yeah, six, yeah. Going to try and dispel that? I'm not on the board. Oh, well, then I'll just take it off and okay. say it's good. All right, so Andre's got a nice formation of Legionnaires there, and the rest of the dice are mine. <laughs> <laughs> I've... Uh, well, first of all, my two my two uh, spells are Chill Wind and Surge. So I brought these guys in, sprinted, and then I failed their uh, agility test. They took a pin. They just moved on with the run. Six inches. He sprinted on, passed his agility test. I went to cast Surge on these guys, and I rolled a uh, miscast. So I have to roll to see what the hell happened. He'll probably turn into a frog or something. An eight. An eight. Oh, man, that's the a wizard long inadvertently conjures forth an attendant magical familiar. The oh, creature God. squats malevolently by the wizard's side and peers accusingly at its accidental summoner. Hmm. It removes a quill pen from behind one pointed <laughs> ear and makes occasional notes on a scroll. So I'm being watched. The magical familiar counts as a member of the unit, increasing its size by one. Oh, nice. If the wizard rides a chariot or monstrosity, the familiar becomes a member of the crew. Any hits upon the unit are distributed onto the familiar in the same way as other members of the unit or crew. The creature itself cannot be harmed in any way so long as the wizard lives. Any hits upon it or damage results on it are sim as crew are simply ignored. If the wizard falls casualty, the creature also falls casualty, <laughs> vanishing with the relieved crackle amidst a cloud of sulfurous smoke. A suitable model may be provided uh -huh. over the creature's... So you hit the one good it's thing. It's a good thing. I get a free, you hit the uh, good thing. an extra wound. Nice job. <laughs> this is going to be my familiar. He also can stand in when he turns into a frog, but there he is. <laughs> free hit point. So, well, I failed the, uh, I failed the um, surge. So what I have left is just my knights. Turn two. So rushing up. They're rushing up. The undead, huh? And don't forget there's a giant scorpion in here that needs to be killed. Yeah, somebody should uh, take care of that, Travis. Who got the first die? <laughs> uh, hey, you could run up I could and charge uh, him. you could charge the scorpion. I do have spectral undead. I could charge right into him and grab it, but not you yet. You can ignore the scorpion? No, I can ignore the oh the building. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> nice, you could just go grab the thing and leave. I think Sweet. I'm going to try to pass an order with these guys. Or uh, command check. Yeah, they do. Uh. Okay, so I'll move them. I passed the order with them. Uh, the guard, they just ran around this way. Sprinted, I should say. Another one of mine. These skeleton archers just advanced up, and we're going to fire at this front group here. Uh, so it'll be long range. So I'm needing sixes, I believe. So really don't know. Uh, one, two, three... Or, hold on. Yeah, hell no, I'm not. Okay, so uh, he's, I hit him five times, so he's going to roll on his uh, needing anything but. Nothing but a pin. We gave him the plus two resistance since he's closer to these stone walls than I am. So which front group or back group? The uh, front, front group. group, yep. Okay. All right, next die. So, 
Hey, that's nice. Right. Romans. Andre's brought some slingers in. He's gonna fire at my skeletons. Mm. So I think you're needing sixes. Three hits. Three hits. Okay. And I'll do one on the leader. No strike value here. So the uh, red, red one will be the leader. So I'm needing uh, sixes. Got one. One died. And a pin. So one skeleton dead. A pin. Next die. Okay. It's time for some chill wind. Romans. Chill wind. So Andre brought a second group of slingers in here. And he is going to, he's just in range of those guys. He's going to see if he can take down a few more of them. One, two, three, four hits. Four hits this time. It's the same thing. Black will be the, uh, black with red lettering will be the leader. Needing sixes. Oh, damn, two. two oh, I'll roll that again. You get your leader again. Okay. Leader save. So two just, and a pin. Just, is it one and a pin, wasn't it? You had an eight and a nine on the whites. I did? Yep. Damn. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had three down. You <laughs> Looks like I will be going after the relic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next day. Skeletons are going for the relic. Okay, I need to do chill wind. My skeleton warriors with swords have run in over here. Took a pin, failed their agility test, sadly. You got a dice? Yep. Romans. So Andre, uh, he had one group of legionnaires uh, sprint over here and they passed their agility test. Undead. These guys sprinted in. Uh, their spear, spear armed skeletons, Roman die. He's moved his wizard up. He cast Aura of Courage and took the pin off of that guy. So the problem I'm having now is he's got divine intervention, so he could possibly, <laughs> possibly take. Where's this guy's? I don't know. Uh, probably those skeletons back there. All right. I tried to bring my last group of spear infantry over there, and they failed to come in. Next guy, Romans. Andre tried to bring his equites in, and they failed too. Undead. All right. Let's try to bring in that last group of skeleton archers. Uh, I think they're coming in. I think there are seven. So yeah, they make it. Uh, skeleton archers just did a standard run down the main road there. Romans. Andres brought his uh, light cavalry, his Numidians in over there. And javelins. Are you within ten? Yeah. Okay. Looks like two hits. Sixes. Uh, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, I think so. So okay. three, three, three hits. hits. All right. So the right white one will be the leader. Uh, so I lost one guy and took another pin. All right. Next guy. You again? He's moved that uh, group of legionnaires up in front of his wizard because I stupidly said I was going to shoot at the wizard. And we just read he can't shoot through that unit into the wizard. So I can't shoot the wizard now. Uh, but it was another red die. So Andre's just moved that group of legionnaires up there. So one's over here. These two are coming this way towards my leader. One nine. Uh, I still got my knights. I got my bolt thrower and I got my wreath. My bolt thrower is just going to fire at that group of legionnaires in the front. So he's within the regular long range, not the extreme long range. So I'm a five minus one for the long range and sixes. So two hits and their strike value three. And you're a seven. So minus three. You're going to do your leader. Uh, so it's two? Yeah, two hits. You didn't say which one was which. That's the leader. Yeah. Because it's the, <laughs> well, it's the off color of what I normally roll. Uh -huh. <laughs> Six. Uh, no, that's a fail still. So your leader dies, and you take a pin. Okay, no, it was this other one I was drawing. <laughs> so this is your leader. So he's dead, and you nice. take a pin. All right. So bolt thrower, not bad. Next one. All you have left is Farquadius, I think, right? Next die. 
So you have your leader here. And you got your last two. Okay. So Andre has, uh, Farquadius has ran all the way back there. He's giving up the objective and moving that direction. And, and then the last you two got are your mine. last two. Okay, so I got my knights and my leader. Might as well do the leader. All right. Here so, we go. All right, see if you can oh, take you his. You declare your order first. Um, I'm going to cast a spell <laughs> and move. <laughs> All right, so what do I need to roll here? I think I can eight or less. Eight or less. Yeah, I'll have to double check, but it's pretty high. So he passes. All right, so you can uh, steal his order dice yep. so your wizard can do something else. Oh, he gets a, another... Okay, so I can... Um, Cast my spell again to pull a. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Or I could move. You could move. I did move my knights into contact with the scorpion. They're spectral and dead, so they can just go right through that uh, stone. So the white's going to be the horses. All these are hitting on sixes. I got one hit with the knights. Oh, wow. Well, that might be enough. And then two hits with the horses. So. Roll some saves here, Andre. So he's a uh, roll a for the, the lance. It's strike value three on the charge. Uh, so yeah, he takes a wound there. And strike value one. He's yeah, he took two wounds. So the scorpion's dead. He's not very tough, and it says in the book that he's not designed to be that hard to kill. <laughs> so uh, we did kill him. He has tough, but he took two wounds. He only has one wound, so he's uh, he's dead. So we got the silver shield here, which is going to be the relic. And I think that's it. Oh. I don't think we have anything left, so we'll go ahead and uh, uh, move on to the next turn. All right, next turn, um, Romans. So Andre is going to charge these guys. He's got uh, what, five horses, so exchange of missiles. Uh, needing sixes, five hits, five hits. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No strike. Uh, or oh, strike value one, huh? Yeah, one, two, nice. three, four, five. So the white one will be the leader, and I'll be needing fives. So I just Ooh, lost one guy. One. Okay. And another pin. And another pin. That's what's going to kill me. That's what we were looking for. All right. Uh, so we fight in hand to hand now. Yep. So you're going to get uh, five attacks, and they have swords, so you're going to be hitting on sevens. No. Yeah, sevens. Five hits. <laughs> Five hits again, all right. So these are strike value one as well. Same thing. Um, we roll that. So another one down and uh, another pin. And I'm going to get six attacks back. And I have swords, so I'll be hitting on sixes. But I have four, four pins already. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Three zeros and a nine. And two hits. Two hits. Yep, strike value one. I think you're uh, six, I believe, on the horse. Okay. Nothing. We're good. So we just died. Uh, so you're I just lost. Gone. Yeah, so I gotta take a break test. Three. I think I passed. I think they are a seven. Okay, so we can fight again? We fight again. So I don't. Uh, <laughs> and I can't route. They don't route. Yeah, so we just fight again. Okay. And I'm down to five dudes. So I got uh, three. I got, I'm hitting on sevens. Uh, no, sixes now. Sixes, three hits. Okay, so I got three, you got three. Okay. All right, my leader will be the white one. Eating fives. Oh, we passed. Uh, you lost one. Okay. And then uh, break test again. Yeah, they don't pass that time. So they take D6 more pins. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> but you got one. Yay, I got one. All right. Do I get to regroup? No. Uh, consolidated across the wall. And one man's down because his, his hand snapped off. <laughs> and I couldn't get it to set. Hand snapper. All right, so... Well, I could start moving these guys now. So I could start wheeling these guys up to block and then just get off the board with the relic. Mm. 
or let me think. Brought that uh, those skeleton spears over there. Just moving up here to form a blocking force against those guys coming in. Next uh, next day. Undead again. So those guys tried to pass the tube in order, couldn't make it. Skeletons have crap leadership. Unless they're close to the, the Warlord guy. And then they're not bad. Because they can use his leadership like 10. Uh, okay, let's see here. My scorpion, or my bolt thrower just moved up to this wall here. I blocked my shooting for some reason. Or, it was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so a Roman dice. So the Farquadius, the Warlord, is going to charge these skeletons. They do get a exchange of missiles. Wait, they're down. Do they still get an exchange of missiles if they're down? Uh, I wouldn't think so. They're laying on the ground. I don't ground. remember them not getting one. Uh, down, okay, but... let me look. So I do not get to exchange of missiles if I'm down. So he's going to get three, and these guys, or he's going to get three, and these two guys get one. So eight and five seven. shots coming in. Yep, eight and sevens. So three hits. Three hits, all right. So my leader is still in there, I think. He should be. Or did he die? Uh, so one guy dies. And I will fight back. They don't have... Do they have swords? Let's just roll and see what we get. Huh. If they have swords, that might it be matters. three hits. <laughs> have swords. So it's three hits. So you got three guys there. So one each. So who's on what? Farquadius is the black, all right? <laughs> one, one, two. Woohoo! Yeah, no problem there. Uh, okay. So I lose for sure. Break test. Yeah, so I'm up four pins. Three pins. You oh. had two, I added Oh, one. you added one. Uh, well, I still fail. Okay. So D6, more pins. So if I get a four plus, they're just out of here. Nope, just okay. one more. And they don't route, though. So we fight again. We fight again. Right. This time I'm down to two guys. And six has got one. And you need sixes. I got five. <laughs> Man, the rolling yeah. has been completely one-sided today. Uh, so five on two guys. There's no way they're going to survive this. Yeah, that's an auto fail right there. Yeah, and I so have just, one. Just one, yeah. Uh, that's a wound, or that's a dead guy. Uh, no, you're medium armor. Yeah. So you make it. Because you are an eight. So they're okay. dead. Okay, and a regular move. Yep. Farquadius just consolidated up there. Next guy. So I'm down another unit. Down two units now. Red die. Those guys ran up. The slingers sprinted. I'm sorry. Another Roman die. Slingers have run up. Sprinted up. They passed their thing though. All right. Uh, okay. Let's see here. I still got a group of eight skeleton spears off the board. So that's handy. I guess I'll start moving these guys. They're gonna to try to move, but he's gonna to try to do the uh, the thing. So he does. Uh, divine intervention, 20 inch range. Basically, you can't do anything <laughs> if he's around. Okay. Uh, so he gets to do something else, or he gets to put his order dice back in the bag. Is what it is. Oh yeah. Which um, it but wasn't. he hasn't pulled it out. So yeah, I don't know. How does that work? Um, I thought it said me? I use your order dice to activate him. Oh, okay. Yeah. But All right. So. So you can activate him. But, but you don't I've have got no pin. Yeah, I'm like I'm pin free. So, or actually, there's. I think those guys have one. Yeah, I thought you were going to be range for that. they're too far away. Yeah. And I don't know that he wants to move up yet. So we'll probably just wait for his die. So. Uh, right. Next die then. That good. means that my. Uh, Race can do something now. Yep. That's you again. He's charging the skeleton warriors. He's going to get Pelums at uh, strike value two on the first one, needing sixes. Oh man, only three? Wow. Only three. Strike value two, though. I'm a six, so that's going to take me down to fours. Ah, do I dare put it on your leader? I probably should. <laughs> I have to. I got to do something here. So the white one will be the leader. Oh, so I made two of them. Come on, leader. Oh, yeah. the leader dies. We got a leader. Skeleton leader is dead. Uh, come on out. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I get eight uh, back at you. 
needing sixes. One, two, three, four, five hits on you. Strike value one. Uh, you are sevens. So that's all. Yeah, that's you all pass. Good. Yeah. Just a pin. So we're both going to be one swinging pin. with the. Uh, seven on seven. Yep, seven on seven. So uh, go ahead. Each. You have a sword, so you're going to be uh, sevens against my fives. <laughs> so what do you got there? I got uh, four. four hits. Four hits. Not that great, but not horrible. Okay, strike value one, so uh, fives. <laughs> Travis, four dead. Come on. Okay, this game is completely one sided <laughs> at this point. You're going to re roll your. Oh, your leader's he already, already died. died. Never mind. Okay, I need a good roll here then. And I need Even five. Incredible. I don't have a sword. Uh, one, two, three, four hits. Five. Oh, okay, four. Yeah, the seven was a miss. Yeah. And you're in medium armor again, so it's. Uh, so three die. Wow. So you lost three, So, but I still lost because you're at uh, four and I'm at five. Yeah, I couldn't afford three losses, though. Uh, okay, so I need to make a test at minus five, so I need anything but. <laughs> 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 yeah, they're dead. Or they take D6 more pins, if you can hand me that uh, D6 there. Three, yeah, they're, they're toast. Why, why did we think the undead were so good? They're not good against Romans. I think we know that much. Well, all right. If, if I wasn't hosing your ability to escape off the board, this would be a very different thing. Okay, so they get to do a move, a five inch move. Moved up, uh, consolidated this way. Yeah, these Romans are nasty. Definitely nasty. Uh, okay. All right, my wraith has moved back this way, and we're going to cast, or try to cast, I hope I don't uh, perils again, <laughs> or try to cast pil uh, the chill wind. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm going to re-roll that. I get one, one re-roll in the game. A two. Okay, I'm we not going to try and uh, beat that. Okay. So, all right, we'll figure it out. Location passed. What we're going to do now is uh, D3 plus his level hits onto the leader. Ooh, five hits onto the leader, Andre. Ouch. Strike value one. So one each and then some extra ones. Oh, it's you don't get to just target the leader, it's the whole group? Yeah, he's with them, so Okay. I have to spread them to all those guys. All right, so five hits, so... Uh... And there's no armor save on, no armor, so you're just uh, rolling okay, forward. Okay, so two on the... Non, he's the leader. No, he's the leader. He's the leader. Far okay, yeah. so two on the banner, dude. So he's dead. Two on the other banner, dude. He's dead. One on the leader. Uh, he makes it, I think. Yeah, he makes it. So you've lost the two guys with him. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> All right, the wraith finally. Uh, okay, so next die. Well, that explains why I was trying to hose the Wraith, huh? Yeah, the Chill Wind ignores armor. So it's really good against heavily armored dudes like this. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. Well, uh, but still got these guys. Uh, so they have four pins. Yep. Hmm. Pulled back, and we're going to fire it for Aquadia. So long range, and needing sixes. Uh, one, two, three. Three hits on him. All right. Okay. So, uh, no, no. Um, the black die is for Claudius. Okay. <laughs> no strike value here. Oh, he takes a wound. You no, I can re-roll re the black one. You can't re-roll tens. Uh. So he just takes a wound. I think he has one left, and a pin, a permanent pin, nonetheless. Okay. A PP. So we put a hurting on for Aquadius. That's good. Next die. Yeah, just a little bit. Romans. So these guys just moved up in a regular run. Me again, what do I have left? I mean, bolt thrower and these guys, I think, are all I have left. 
Oh, shit, I still got a unit off the board. Still, I was going to say, do you have, uh, are those guys? <laughs> you still have a unit off the board. You got your other equites still. Uh, okay, I'll try to bring those guys in. How about that? They're coming in. That's these boys? Yep. These guys uh, just ran in normal run here. Just try to form a wall here. That's, oh, you. that's me. There's Equites. His last unit that was off the board has come in here. They sprinted from over there. Romans again. The Legionnaires over there sprinting over here. Failed their agility test. So they're going to take a pin. And last thing is his Sorcerer, who's now going to be in range to stop anything I try to do. And he will try and pull the pin. Yep. And is there anything left? Yep. Oh, my uh, my bolt thrower. So my oh, bolt thrower. What about those guys? Oh, yeah. I should or, have two. Travis, you're not putting your dice oh, on man. things. I'm <laughs> so bad at that. I never do. I know. <laughs> Which. Or did he move up? Did he move up this time? He came in, he fired, and then, he, yeah, I think he moved up there this turn. I'm thinking it's... Just uh, these guys. I don't remember those guys doing anything. Okay, they're going to move up here. So that whoever you don't, divine <laughs> intervention, will grab the relic and then run off. <laughs> well, except you've got to declare... You actually pull the die and declare what you're doing. Although I guess the yeah, and then other group will just, just grab, grab it. it from them. And That's all I can do. With the divine intervention, I can't just declare it. So Yeah, that, uh, that actually works. That so works. that'll be, uh, that's the end of the turn. So move on to the next turn. Next turn, I'm down three dice. Down to six. One is still at nine. That's you. I sprint it around here, he's going to charge the knights. Eight peelings. Strike value two, which will take me down to sevens. Actually, I don't have to do two black dice. Put my arm and my bald head into no bad <laughs> shot. Luckily, it's on camera too right now. Eating sixes. Ooh. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six. My two misses were epic misses. So I only got three guys there, so. Two each. Two each. Two so each we'll start is on this guy here. So this is my leader. This guy here. So sevens. I can't. Yeah, he's dead. Wow. Next guy. Uh, he's dead. And the next guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, Andre. Hey, you can't blame this game me is completely one sided. Rolling. No, I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying this game is totally one sided. Uh, I hate that. All right. uh, did you get to swing back? Uh, no, that was on the exchange of missiles. Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> I can't swing back. All I needed was sevens. <laughs> yeah, I would swing back, but I can't. So that means I can't. Uh, do I even consolidate or? Yeah, you can go uh, normal move. So I can crash into those other dudes? No. <laughs> it's just consolidated back here. So these guys, they're not going to be able to move because now the divine intervention is going to stop them. Sorry, but... Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the knights are only good on charges. Yeah. but they I are... mean, they're good because they have good armor, but you have to roll good. Well... And they've got or uh, average. well, and the spectral thing that they can just blast through terrain. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, they're another Roman dice. They're on. Ran down the road here. All right, Andre, I'm going to try to move these guys. So uh, I have to. You have to fail this. Get a can nine I out of ten. Fail it? No. 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 So I get the die. I get to activate something. Or no, I activate him. Yeah. So he. Moves back up and pulls uh, D4 pins, uh, or D6. Reroll that. Yeah. It's kind of between a 5 okay. and a 9 there. Yeah. All I was seeing was a the six. 5 from my side. That, I'll try to deflect it. Okay. That's a good deflect. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Deflected. Okay. So next die. So... Man, damn divine intervention, pain in my ass. I'll just fire this thing off, I guess. No, I'll do the wraith. The wraith will, uh, <laughs> uh, boy.
He's gonna fire his, uh, or try to cast Chill Wind on these guys. So don't mishap. A nine I fail. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. No miss. <laughs> I already used my reroll on the last nine I rolled. Uh, <laughs> and red. Andre is charging these guys with those equites. So five exchange missiles, even sixes. One, three two, hits. three. So the white one will be the leader. Uh, tough. He makes it. So we take a pin. But I did okay. no one died at least. Yep. So we'll take a pin on these guys. And I'll take my pin from your exchange of missiles. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the way I've been rolling. It's pretty hard not to. I need a one six. Okay, I got it. Oh, five hits. Nice. Okay, so you're uh, you're in light armor, so you're a seven, I think, on the horse. Uh, oh, two down. Two down. Whoa! Okay, I'm gonna lose this. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six oh, back at you. Oh man! And these guys do have swords. The archers have swords, but not the knights for some reason. Uh, so needing sixes. So three hits. Three hits. Yep. Uh, All good. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and then three shots back at you. Yep. Needing sixes. Two, Two hits. hits. Need right. a kill. Come on, here. leader. Leader will be white. Oh, you got one. Oh, I'm going to lose by one. Yep. Damn. All right, so break test. They pass. Nice. So you can choose to fight again or not, I think, since you won. Um, I, believe that, I think that's how it works. Yeah, I need to... Okay, so I'm going to have five against your three. Yep. So I need sixes again. One, two, three, four hits that time. Uh, one dies, and then you can reroll your leader for tough. You need a six, so he Got passes. Him. So you just lost one guy. Okay. Then three attacks back. So you're at two. I have to survive this. Uh, two two hits. hits. So the leader will be white. <clears throat> and needing uh, fives. Oh. Well, I've already lost. I lost again by one. And then another break test. This time at minus three. So we pass. So. I think we break apart. I think you can only fight twice. Yep. So we'll just fall back. Okay, the next day. That sucked. <laughs> yeah, I know. I should have won. <laughs> I should have won that. Killed two of, two of them in the exchange of missiles, right? That's me. Uh, all right. These guys here. Hmm. My scorpion fire at them. So needing... Uh, threes or fives. One hit. <laughs> oh my god. Minus three though. Oh, one guy dies. Unless that was your leader. Uh, yeah, like I would put that on my leader. <laughs> so one. You'll notice I rolled a white die for that. One shock or pin. Okay, next die. Me again. What do I even have left, Andre? Just my uh, these guys. I think that's all I have left. Uh, you got two more dice in the bag. Two. Mm. I'm going to charge these guys. So, well, I have spears. He has peelums already through the first one, so his are going to be strike value one, and I'm going to be uh, needing sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All hits. Look at that. Wow. Finally. Uh, and you got... Three hits? Three hits. So you need to take eight saves, and I need to take three. White one will be the leader. Um, one guy dies in a pin. So, eight so saves, two each. Huh? Yep. Do I roll them all at once or? Ah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so, you lost, lost two? Two. And you took another pin. So, you're at five. 
All right, so then I'm going to have seven needing sixes. One, two, <laughs> three. Four tens. Yep. Be happy that wasn't your uh, your save. So four, or you got your, do the saves first. Okay. Uh, one Lost guy dies. One. So you're and at six pins now. And then you get your two attacks back. One, one hit. hit. I'll put it on the leader. He's good. Okay. So now you got to take a break test at minus six. Uh, Nine. They fail because I think they're an eight. And so d6 more pins. Uh, I'm at. You're at six right even now. Doesn't matter. If you roll a one, you don't. I think you're an eight, so you can oh, still pass okay. it. Okay. Nope. No. Hey, look! I killed a Roman unit. You did. Finally. That was pretty sad. And then I'll consolidate up to there. Charge that damn. Damn, is there any red dice in there? Uh, actually. What do I have left? The rest of them are red. <laughs> I don't think I have anything left. Uh, we might have forgotten to pull something Let out. Check. These guys, so they have a three pins though. So let's see if we can pass an order. Five, yeah, because they're within ten of him, so they get to use his command. All right. So they do pass. And we'll fire at these guys here. All right. With four, four arrows. Three hits. Two hits. Two hits. One hit, I'm sorry. One hit? Yeah, two nines, a seven, and a one. <laughs> but it's a pin. And the leader. That's uh, a he re -roll. fails. Yeah. He gets to re roll. Take another pin. Five is good. Yeah. Five will work. All right, the rest are all yours. <laughs> did you put a pin on them? Yeah, I did. Okay. So the rest are yours. Arquadius right. passes one pin order. He's charging these guys. If he wipes them out, then that's pretty much game. I'll lose half my force. So I get four, uh, four exchange of missiles and uh, two hits and just no strike value there. So you're good. All right. And then we'll fight. So you get three attacks. I get four attacks. I took a pin for that though, right? You did. So I'm there's still two. hope. There's still hope. Uh, so I get four attacks needing sixes. That's four hits. Four hits. Strike value one. Oh! oh you can reroll one of those because he's tough. Does it matter? Does he have more than two wounds? I don't think so, no. Then it doesn't matter. Okay, so he dies. But you get your three attacks back. You can still... Well, he can't even wipe me out. That's okay. Uh, so two, three hits. Three hits. One guy dies. Okay. So I'm up to three. Farquadius is dead. And I guess I won the combat, so we'll just reposition. All right. We're still hanging in here somehow. Uh, next. I don't know how. Oh, I gotta, <laughs> next. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta roll this, don't I? Do we the archers pass? from hell. Oh! You failed. Oh man, they go down. That means you got to test to even get up. All right, you got anything left? <laughs> um. I don't uh, know. I haven't been putting my dice out either. The, the two slingers you got left. So he's uh, slingers moved up, passed their agility tests. And his wizard moved up and took all the pins off with Aura of Courage. All right, so... So I need the first die so I can kill this guy. So they're down. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six dice. Yeah, because you only lost one unit. All right, we need the uh, first die here. Skeletons have to get the first die to have a chance. But I've only got five you dice. You want to pull there. it? Yep, I'll pull it. Oh, I pulled the wrong one. Okay. Hey, look. So they're charging what's left of the skeleton uh, archers here. Is this their first, or did they get an exchange over here? No, I, they didn't get an exchange, did they? They lost it. Uh, you were. I don't remember who did what. You didn't actually charge me. I think these guys have. You were just short. I don't know. <laughs> now these guys used all of theirs. I know two of them have. I don't know which two though. Uh, I think it was these guys did both of theirs. I think they're the only ones that have been in hand-to-hand. -hand. Okay. 
All right, so these guys here are gonna fire exchange of missiles. Needing sevens, sixes, sixes. Ah, two hits. Two hits. That might be it, though. Strike value two. Needing fours. My leader will be white. Ah, oh, we pass, Ooh. but we still take a pin. Yep. So they're gonna be up to four. Then I'll take a pin. And I'll do my three. Maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, I got one. <laughs> Barely. The six. And then I'll just do my swinging here. One hit. Let me see if so. My uh, leader. A seven on the uh, exchange. Uh, oh, this, that's the exchange. Yeah, that's a fail. Okay. No, it isn't. That's a pass because they have okay. no strike value. Cool. All right. So, but you do need to take a, a sword save though. So just one. Just one. I'll do it on my leader. Okay. So roll a ten. Oh, he's good. All right. So then you get your seven attacks back. And needing sevens because you're five plus one for the sword plus one for charging. I see some tens in there. Uh, one, two, three. Three. Wow, that was horrible. Okay, I gotta, I gotta pass this. Uh, so the fives make it, and then this was a six, but he's tough. So I pass nice. all those. Nice. But I still lost because I have four pins. Right. So I have to take in uh, the uh, break test. Five, five six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm using his. Oh, okay. So I pass. All These right. are the archers from hell here. Let's do it again. All right, we'll fight again. So seven shots. Yep. Um, Sixes. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, I'll do one on each first. Uh, one dies. What's that? A nine? So he gets to reroll that. Yeah, they're all dead. But I get to swing back. I got one. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> so you pass. We're good. And that'll be game. Uh, because I've dropped half of my force is dead, and we'll come back and wrap it up. All right, back to wrap it up. Uh, Obvious, clear victory for the Romans. Even if I didn't, even if we kept playing, I still wouldn't have been able to get off because the divine intervention is just is too good. In a mission like this, where you have to grab something and move it, if you get within twenty, then and you only have to roll an eight or less, <laughs> which isn't that hard to do on a D10. So no, it's it's almost always going to go off eighty percent of the time, right? Yeah, you'd have to take my wizard out to have any shot and. But he was just really well protected. I think what uh, lightning bolt would be good for that. Yeah, no. I'm and thinking maybe if we play this again, if divine intervention, always bring lightning bolt because you can do that anywhere. You yeah, don't even have to have line no. of sight. And we were kind of being polite with the spells. Um, I purposely didn't, you know, take a uh, targeting heavy damage spell. Just yeah, but that was really good because you you cleaned all this. You you cleaned every pin off. You don't have any pins. Yeah. <laughs> um, that actually worked out way better than I thought, because um, I knew I wanted to do some running or sprinting. Yeah. And uh, well, you kind of saw what my plan was: was uh, sprint up and make a charge for the uh, objective. I honestly thought we were going to have a big slug it out right over here. Um, was what I kind of thought was going to happen. But uh, yeah, I was pretty sure I could uh, just kind of sprint up and. Being able to pull as, you know, I'm pulling at least two pins every turn, which is about how much I'd expect to get with the sprints. So, yeah, I get to sprint up and not have to worry about going down. Yeah, because there's been lots of games where we've had that one pin from failing that agility test. Oh, and it, it just sits there the whole game. It's going to happen, you know, it's statistically, it it's, gonna it's just going to happen. Um, so yeah. being able to pull those was huge. Um, yeah, so having that divine intervention is brutal on this mission yeah it's I bad on every mission i mean in a, in a regular like kill point mission it wouldn't be as deadly because well it's it, not as obvious what you're gonna go what you're gonna use well, it on <laughs> it, it honest it didn't occur to me that that was like such a game winner i thought when you came up and you took the scorpion out i thought uh, you were gonna get off i didn't think i was gonna be able to stop you i didn't yeah well as soon as you got within 20 I, could, I knew I couldn't do anything. Yeah, um, but that wasn't my original thought, and uh, that didn't occur to me till, uh, well, a little later. Yeah, plus the rolling was total crap for me. 
I had bad rolling in this game. And mine was above average, yeah. which that's it's always difficult. So in all the games that we played, the undead have only ever lost to the Romans twice now. That's it. They've this never lost the anyone else except for another undead army once. This, and the Romans. This is the first time I've beaten the undead. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could have, I should have just grabbed it and run off, but yeah, I mean, when you can't move. Well, and really, I was hard to move. looking at, <laughs> you know, just kind of doing this, uh, you know, wiping your blank, back flank, and when it, I didn't think I was going to be able to uh, win the battle up here. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to, I can sweep through this backside. It's really weak. And then you've got to come down and I can pick the fight more. Um, you know, it'll, I can have, dictate the terms back on this corner more than if I came up here and tried to crash into you. Because I knew if I came up, you could just, uh, you know, on the charge, uh, your units were way better than mine and... No. <laughs> well, no skeleton is better than the Rome. I mean, they're only like leadership seven. They have light armor. Uh, what I could have done, if I didn't get my knights wiped out, I could have just went all the way around you. Yeah. <laughs> 24 yeah. inches per going through terrain. Oh, that's... They yeah. could have snuck off and... but Those those knights can be really uh, nasty. You know, there's a there was a time I could have... I didn't... I Next time, if we, if we played the same again, there was one time I had a chance to charge your... Your wizard with my knights. Oh, I didn't, and I didn't see do that. It. I could have. I was within twenty-four, and I could have went right through the walls and took him out. Oh. And now knowing I, what, now realizing how good that uh, divine intervention was, that would have been a I, good move. I thought I had him protected most of the time, but no, there was it's one, hard to. It was one I, turn. Well, with those knights, um, it's tough. Yeah. Um, I should have. I thought well. Nah, he's not going to be that big of a... Yeah, well, he turned out to be the only one that kept me from getting off the board, so... Yep. It would have been worth it to charge him with the knights, let the knights well, die, and then grab it with these guys and run off. And actually, I think I do remember that, because I, was, I wasn't necessarily baiting you, but it was like, okay, if you want to trade your knights for the wizard, uh, I was okay with that. Yeah, and I should have been okay with it. Um, to neither of us realized uh, <laughs> what, what a big deal that was Then the I probably would have had a chance to win. Uh, I probably couldn't have stopped you. You couldn't have stopped me without divine intervention. For Unless sure. I just, you know, uh, took out enough units and, you know, knocked you below half uh, yeah. coming through the backside. But you probably could have preserved your forces a little better. Um, if I got them closer. So I would have shrunk the circle back. Yeah. Just to protect these guys who were trying to run off. But, oh well. Divine intervention for the win. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the nerf. We were talking off camera, like they, I told Andre, they did nerf it, and I couldn't remember what it was. Did they reduce the range, or it turns out the nerf was you can only do it once per turn. <laughs> so there was a time when you could do it to every single. I, I mean, can you imagine that? No one could ever do anything. <laughs> well, and not only is that you know just way op, it's just not fun. I mean, yeah, I mean every every nobody time wants activates, to play a game where you and, just. Okay, uh, I try and do something I don't get to. Uh, yeah. And, and those Olympians have a lot of guys have units that can, more than one unit that can take it. And even if you had one per turn with three or four units with it, oh. then you're, no well, one can do anything. It's you just have to hope for a failed uh, leadership test, all you can do. Well, you just got to target that unit, but yeah. Um, I mean, you probably, you might have had a shot at my uh, wizard with your uh, wraith unit. Um, yeah, and then there was a. I had that one turn where I could have fired at him with this, and uh, then I but said, you moved your, oh. "But then you moved someone in front of it, and I couldn't." Target well, him and anymore. then you blocked yourself from firing once, but I don't think that was a yeah. him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, it was a crazy game. Divine intervention needs to be nerfed a little bit, I think, even more. Maybe you should be able to try to dispel it, like you can a spell, something. Like if you can roll your leadership against it to yeah. see if your gods are more powerful than theirs. I know the last time we... So the first... I remember playing with this uh, rule twice before. The first time it was used against me and it was like, this is insane. This, the, yeah. <laughs> it's it insanely insane. powerful. The next time I got to use it um, and I believe I used it towards the win, but 
the good news was I forgot to use it till about halfway through the game. Yeah. So it you wasn't like I was doing times. it every turn all game, but you know, the last two or three times, you know, a couple uh, key, you know, you pull a die at a key time on a unit that's about to charge in and wipe somebody, and it's like, ha, saved. Yep. It's huge. Yeah. Um, even, maybe well, maybe. even more important here, obviously, but. Even making it harder to, to do, because if you got a high leadership. Yeah, it's just, it's too easy. It's very easy to get off. Maybe like a 50-50 thing, like you always have to need a five or something. I'm, I think you could even put it down to a 40% chance. Four, would, plus, four or less. I mean, as powerful as the effect is. Yeah. I mean, this isn't a wimpy effect. No, <laughs> it's not. So, Anyway, yeah, it was a good game. Well, I, I can't say that. It was not a good game. It, I, I, it was okay. I, en I enjoyed the fact of coming around and doing kind of an alternate uh, strategy on this. I mean, I know you were really, what the hell is he doing when I pulled my <laughs> leader around this side? Yeah. But I was, I was really worried about the uh, strength of what you had over there, and I was just oh, yeah. afraid this going hit toe straight. to toe with you um, was too much of a fair fight, and I don't really like fair fights. Over here, it wasn't a fair fight. I could just roll you up. Yeah, and then having just individuals, uh, skeleton units scattered around. They're not. They're not good when they're just out there by themselves, really. Yeah. If you can get them all close together, then they're better. But yeah, I probably should have just not ran that way and just formed a line here and just waited for you to come in. But. Well, it uh, you know, I th I saw you know you were putting some pressure on me and. <laughs> there was no reason for me to come this direction. So yeah, you've got archers and you're harassing my flank. I totally got, you know, why you were doing it, but it's like, hmm. And those <laughs> archers got wiped out pretty quick too. That was the, yeah. I should have, at that point is when the dice gods intervened. <laughs> yeah. Right. So anyway, yeah. So we like to play this game. Uh, we obviously are in awe of, uh, divine intervention <laughs> it's very divine so it's uh, it's a thing it's a good rule very good rule so anyway thanks to andre for coming out and uh, as usual check out our patreon page and our facebook group and uh, all the other social media stuff we're on twitter instagram what whatnot hey travis yeah. what time of year is it time of year is it yeah oh the caesar awards yeah well, I don't like to mention those because someone 10 years from now if watching this, they're not going to know what the hell that is. <laughs> ah, okay. But if you're well. watching this far, vote for us in the Caesar Awards for best YouTube channel. LittleWarsTV.com, Caesar Awards. We won last year, so we'd like to make it two in a row, which would be pretty awesome. So, uh, Anyway, we're going to go ahead and sign off now, so thanks for watching. And we'll see you all next time.